Hey guys, Digital David here. Today I'm excited to be unboxing and reviewing for you all the iLux Smart LED Floodlight. They did send me this to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is truly my own. I've reviewed other iLux products on my channel, so go ahead, look at the link, and check it out in this video. I reviewed a smart Bluetooth LED ball from them. Really happy with it. So really excited to get this floodlight today to review for you all. So go ahead, this I'll link this to my in my video description below. It'll take you right to Amazon. You can check it out. Let me know what you think. But that being said, here's how it's going to come packaged to you from Amazon with a really nice retail box right here by iLux. Really good product photography. It's showing you it's 10 watt RGB smart LED floodlight with Bluetooth connectivity. It's IP65 rated, so basically in a nutshell, they get that IP65 rating by shooting a bunch of water at it in different directions. So it does have a waterproof rating. I would not submerge this in water, but it could be used outside. It supports Bluetooth control through an, an app, which is really nice, and I'll walk you through that, as well as a remote control that's not included. So here it is, really cool. Now with nothing else to do, let's go ahead and open it up. Sweet. First thing we see right here, so it's an iLux SKU 90019, so that's the remote control that you can see. Two ways of usage, the remote control and the app that we can go ahead and get and we'll download that and I'll show you how to use it. So a lot of different languages, great, keep that. Here's a little warranty card, they wanna make sure you're happy or not happy, let them know. Really good customer service, feel free to reach out. Here's the smart 10 watt user guide. Want to hold on to that in case you need to reference it. And this is a three pack, which is really cool. So go ahead, like I said, check it out on Amazon. The link's in my video description below. You can see more on this. But really excited for the three pack. You can sync up the lights to control. So you can schedule and that sort of thing. Again, up to 50 lights are supported within the app. And they also can synchronize to music or the sound of you singing. So really sweet right here. And I thought so when I was looking at the Amazon description, it said the remote was not included, but it is included right here. You can see it. So that's kind of silly, but it does include a remote or you can just use the app to control it. So it's really nice that they do give you this. It is included. And that's it for what's in the box. Now let's look at a light in more detail right here. So this looks really cool. Again, 10 watt LED RGB. And we should be able, as you can see, iLux 10 watt IP65, a nice cable, probably, you know, two feet or so in length with the plug right there. And then we should be able to pull this back. All right, guys, since I last saw you, I was able to set up the lights. I used an Allen wrench really quick and I was able just to loosen the legs. So now you can adjust them. I wanted to stand them up for this video. And obviously you're probably gonna wanna use them stood up too. So I plugged all three of them in. And then I took the remote that came with it. It did not come with batteries. So if you want to use this remote, you need two AAA batteries. Really easy. They just go in right there. So really straightforward. Not going to show you that. So now we have the remote and it can work. So it can power on the lights. You hit that little line button. And then it can turn off the lights. So these are really cool, really exciting stuff. Now I'm going to dim my studio lights so we can see all the different settings we have here. Then we'll jump right into the app and setting that up. All right, so I'm back here now, the lights are dim. We'll go ahead, we'll turn it on again so you can see that they're on and it's in this moonlight mode. There's a moon and a star button and it really has them dim, so probably like a nighttime setting. Then there's two circles, one with a K in it. And when I hit it, I'm not sure I can tell a difference. Then we have a paintbrush or a paint palette button. So now I can see that it's changed colors and I can keep tapping that button and it's cycling through different colors. This is really cool. So you can see the spectrum right there. Then there's a pulse button. And I pushed it once and you can see that it's doing its own little light show, which is really cool. They have so many different colors. This is really, really a neat setup. Let me push it again and see if we can tell. Okay, so now it's solid red and they're all pulsing. That's pretty cool. Push it again, cycling through more colors. That's pretty sweet. Cool. So you have a lot of different variety in pushing that button. So that's really, really neat. We'll go back to the moon mode for a sec. 
Now there's four buttons right here. We'll push this top one to be like a top arrow key. So that's controlling, it looks like the brightness. So that's all the way up in that moon mode. Now I'm pushing it again, and that's all the way down. Now there's a, a left button that looks like a, a sun. Pushing it, not seeing anything. And then there's a right button that's a snowflake. So if that's hotter or cooler, I wonder if that's like a, a color temperature thing. So we'll go back there and see. Not seeing any difference. Then there's four programmed buttons right here. So we'll push one. Not seeing anything. Two. Not seeing anything. Three. And four. So a couple different buttons. We'll have to figure out the user guide how to use. But this is really cool. Really handy. Especially if you just want a quick mode sort of thing. So you can turn them off. Turn it back on. Get whatever mode you want going. Control how bright you want. That sort of thing. This is a really cool remote. So really happy with that. Nice that they do include it in the package, you just need some batteries. So now we're gonna go ahead and look at the app itself. We'll set it up, we'll download it. You can do iOS or Android. Well, I'll show you on Android, but it's the same thing. So now we'll go ahead and look at that. All right, so I got my smartphone. Now we're gonna go ahead and head to the Google Play Store. We're gonna search for iLux, and it's iLux Mesh, Lighting Evers, the company. Go ahead, hit install. Once the app's installed, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hit open. Allow it to access stuff. It wants to turn on Bluetooth. Turning Bluetooth on so it can communicate with everything. So now I'm showing iLux Mesh. Here's the home screen, really cool. We'll go to the top left. There's area groups you can create and delete groups. You can add a new group if you want to group your lights a specific way. There's an effect mixer, so add a new effect mixer which is really sweet. What do we have? We have an operations manual to search lamp group, scene, area group. There's so much you can do in this app. We're just gonna kind of do a, a flyover today just so you can see it and connect your devices. But refer to that operations manual. You can check software updates, that sort of thing. So you can see I have the iLox lamp there. We're gonna go ahead now and try to add these devices. So let's go ahead, hit add. Reset lamp, reset the lamp if you cannot find the lamp. Continuously disconnect the app. Activate controller, press the two keys at the same time. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit search. So now you can see it has automatically done this. I have not done anything. Now you can see that they're flashing and I have three lights available to set up. So I'll hit stop searching, tap to flash. You can name them. So I'll hit the check mark. They're flashing right now, we can see. So it should be adding the new devices. So you can see they have just been added, all three of them, and they are connected right now. My other one is not. And again, you can rename them, but just for fun, we'll do this. So now we'll turn off, on, off, on, off, on. So now you can dive into each one, so you can control the brightness really quickly right from there in the app, which is pretty sweet. And then you can go in and now you can control, I mean, look at that, the ambience, the color, what color do you want it, dynamic, single color, three colors, seven colors, random colors, gradual change, direct change. You can adjust the speed, you can do a delay. So you have so many options in here and you just get there by tapping on whatever one you want to work with, which is cool. And then there's, this music spot too, so it pulls in your music and you or follow the microphone for the um, app itself. Now I'm using a screen recorder, so I won't be able to do the microphone right now or the music, but really pretty easy, straightforward. There's settings right there, changing, that sort of thing. So this is a really cool app. It's really in depth. You'd be really impressed. You're buying into a pretty cool ecosystem, if you ask me, to be able to control all these devices with Bluetooth. It's not Wi-Fi connected, and I noticed that they don't have um, a power on or off button on here, which isn't the end of the world because they do give you a remote, but just something to keep in mind too, or maybe in future product releases, they may um, improve this more to even have you know a power button on or off and maybe even that Wi-Fi connectivity so you don't have to be within proximity for Bluetooth. 
But it is really, guys, it's really cool. You'd be really happy to use this product. It's showing you lamp control. Again, the whole user guide and the operations manual is really straightforward. If you have any questions, go ahead. Just dive right in there if you want to learn how to do lamp groups. I mean, it's right there. If you want to learn how to create a scene, it's really easy to have great screenshots and everything. Again, a lot of other products and competitors you may find won't have as, as um, good of a setup. So you might buy it because it's cheaper, but then you're kind of stuck while well, learning out. Well, how do I actually do any of this stuff? It's right here. They make it really simple and they also have customer support on there. So really happy with this. It's a great product. It's really cool. So go ahead, check it out, guys. The link is in my video description below. I hope this was helpful to you just to get your devices set up. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, that sort of thing. Really a sweet setup, really cool lights. If you're in the market for them, you're going to be pretty happy. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in my next video.